Hey YouTube, in an effort to get through more content, in this video I've chopped out sections of work. I hope it doesn't make the video too disjointed, but on the plus side, I can accomplish a lot more work for the same length video. Using string like this is a great way to perform counter pulling and remove any twist that is introduced by welding. A bean burger. Oh, what? A bean burger. You can have a bean burger. You You're can contain meat. Does it contain meat? No. <laughs> no, what are you feeding me for? Joy. I don't know about that. Bloody bean burger. Whatever the hell that is. Here I'm trying to work out how tall to make the uprights to clear the wheels. Even after I started welding, I'm still second guessing myself whether I should make the uprights taller and put the motors underneath, or keep them lower and put them on top. I decide against making it any taller. I've reached the point where I can't do much more welding before I needed this top section removed. I was trying to leave it to the very last minute to maintain as much rigidity and keep it as square as I could for as long as I could. Trying to sneak up on a tight fit felt like it took forever. And that is why you don't leave your glasses where they can be stood on. They're long overdue to be replaced, but fortunately I could repair them. I decided to weld the first side in fully, figuring that I could make any adjustments I might need on the second side. Being that they looked right before I started welding, I didn't expect it to get too far out.
That is the best part of the lower frame completed. There are several ways I could do the front, but I need to sit down and think about which way makes the most sense. Well that's it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And I'll see you in the next one.